pause. All right, I am recording. Elizabeth is still having some kind of really bizarre microphone challenge. Oops. Wow. I think your microphone might be toast, Elizabeth. Welcome to the evolution meeting here on November 30th. Um, I'm joined by others. Um, I put the meeting minutes link in the chat. Uh, all right. So we were going to work on change request reviews. And I think by work on it, we intend to just go to the document and start hacking on it. And so at this, is there anything we want to discuss before we do that? Because typically we'd pause the recording. I don't anybody... think so. Okay. All right. So I will pause the recording. No, I want to... that's not the recording. So we've done some editing here on the change request reviews and Bernard, you raised a question that I thought warranted some yes. discussion. So like uh, reading the description as Kevin has uh, suggested, like uh, reviewers DCO sign off something. So which indicates kind of a quality of a change request review. So that that is where I was thinking like, are we including the quantity here or the quality or both? I was not sure. So, so the description describes what the review is, right. not what we're measuring necessarily. Okay. So okay. the purpose of a review is to ensure quality. Right. So that's why it's in the description. Uh, what we are measuring, I don't think, I haven't, I haven't added quality anywhere on what we're measuring. No, it yeah. just uh, like reading that this thought came and I was like, kind of a confused. Are we focused on the quantity or quality? Just need that clarity on this. So I think, I think it's widely recognized in general software engineering practice that code reviews, which is what a change request review is, is good software engineering practice. Right. And in open source, the platforms have ways that they have formalized this. Um, and so I think the, if you show a large percentage of change requests into your main branch or your primary branch, go through some kind of code review. I think that's a signal of quality for the project. Okay. Yeah. Now, and, and that can be discussed in the objectives and we do have, we do have one line in there right now that, that basically says that change request reviews can help inform the quality of code and efficiency of code development, right? So that's in the objectives. That doesn't mean that we're measuring that. Maybe. It means we are measuring okay. something that can help inform that. Oh, okay. I would say um, recognized in software engineering research as a means for improving the quality of code and the efficiency of code development. Right. So if, if you, if you write I'll, it, that, if you write that. it that way, I'll get a site for it. So if you write it that way, I think it fits in the description. Oh. So remember the, the objectives are basically, the objectives are basically user stories. Right. Right. So these are the, yeah. so we want to, we want to write the objectives in a way that like, this is why you would want to come and look at them. So if you're, if we're just doing, if we're just writing a description of what a change request is, uh, then, then it goes up top. So, and I know there's a little bit of a subtle distinction in, in how we deal with those two sections. And I'll get a site for that.
I don't know if those belong. I mean, I'm, I'm footnoting them because they're referring to the specific. Uh, when we, we foot footnotes aren't going to work when we convert this to okay. markdown. Yeah. All right. I'll put them in references. Yeah. I mean, there's probably several hundred sites that we could use, but those are the most cited sites. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to change that to for mini. Uh, successfully. This little wider so I can address that question. I'm just accepting a bunch of other people's changes. Yeah. To make this more readable. Are we looking at the how to, how the change request review process work, or it, it is just to what extent? So how it, how it works is platform dependent. Yep. So we are not doing that, um, I guess. It's I not even just platform dependent, it's project dependent too. Right. So I think, I think we have to, I think any, any exploration of this metric has to include the how. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because even even with GitHub, when you when you drop into a, a GitHub pull request, there is that distinction between the being formally reviewed in the review process and being reviewed within the the change request comments, right? So, I I I think we have to leave that how in there. So there could yeah there are I would say that you're right that. The comments on the PR itself sometimes act as a form of review that doesn't use the platforms. Yeah, and then when you uh, and then when you jump and process. then when you jump to different platforms or you start thinking about the the different ways that different projects manage the review process. Uh, yeah, I think we have to include the how in there because it's not as straightforward as. Uh, just saying, hey, go go count reviews. <laughs> and maybe we need to include a little bit of discussion about that in here. Yeah. Also, a quick question. Are we only concerned about the code or does this include things like documentation or, or other things that might need reviewed? Anything that would Anything. go through a change request, so, so the, yep. the documentation would be included. Yeah, yes. um, you might want to yes. clarify that. Yes, the documentation could only be included though if it is incorporated into the project itself, which it usually is. Um, I don't know if it usually is. I know in Augur we have the docs right inside the project. 
and they go through when there are changes those they go through a change request process yeah we could we could just rather than say code we could call it a change yeah uh yeah change requests are intended to be reviewed by other developers who assess the quality of the change because in theory, you could also be changing a website or something like that that would go through a review process. Yeah, yeah. Anything that goes through the change, anything that specifically goes through a change request, the change request process. No, I didn't have, I guess I wasn't doing suggestion mode, but I just. You're fine. Like this. There. Uh, another question, and sorry if you guys already discussed this when I was out, but um, do we care if the process itself has been documented somewhere? I think we do. Um, yeah. Yeah, if it, if, the, if it already exists, then we should uh, certainly take advantage of, of that. Um, Would that be a filter or uh, hmm. like whether or not it? What do you mean? Like if it if it has been documented, then it's a yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to put that in here, like as part of the data collection process. Like how would you? What do you mean? I I I I think you lost me. Yeah, I lost myself. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I don't know if there's a standard in this metric. I don't, know if, I don't know if there's like a standard document for development process. Like, would it be under contributing? Um, that that would yes, con, yeah. The contributing file where it exists, I think, is a really good example. So that would go under. Um, is it filters or aggregators? It's kind of a filter. That's so thinking, an but... aggregate is a count. Uh, the filter is what you would use to uh, sort or compare, right? So what's the, so the question is, does the project have a contributing file? And if does so, the, does, does the project, does the project outline how reviews are supposed to occur? And does the review process follow that? Those guidelines? Is that the question? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know how you collect that data. I mean, you could you could search obviously for the contributing dot md, but how yeah. how you would figure out whether or not it follows that? I don't that, know. Yeah, that's so that speaks to the how part that's in the question, and that would be very qualitative. All right, so I don't know that we, if the, uh, I think it would be in the aggregators and rather than, rather than account, it would be, does the uh, review process, does the formal, uh, there's a race between you and Sean. To see I'm putting that. it under filters and I'm <laughs> saying, um, okay. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I think you could do some really simple linguistic scanning, you know, First, is there a contributing file? And then next, is the word review included in it? It's a course filter, but chances are, if the word review is in there anywhere, they have documented the code review process.
So would that go under data collection or still filters? Yeah, that's a good, that is an excellent question. So if, if the project follows the guidelines or not, that's a, that's definitely a qualitative, um, that's a qualitative question, right? Like somebody would have to actually audit that yeah. review. Yeah. But I think, I think that's fine. Yeah. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is necessarily a filter though. I think, I think it yeah. might actually be an aggregator. I mean, maybe you would say yes or no yeah. at the top. I'm, I'm cool with that. I oftentimes have a difficult, I have difficulty determining where something like this belongs. And if you think it belongs under aggregator, let's move it there. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we it's basically a count of one, but, uh, uh, but it's not, I don't, uh, filters we use to compare, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know that, I don't know that this is necessarily a, uh, something that we would use to compare. Although maybe, actually maybe, maybe we could, right? So we could look at the percentage of change requests that go through the formal review process and then compare to how they're successfully merged Yeah. versus uh, so are they are they following the formal process that's outlined here, right? Or versus the the ones that yes, yeah, so that actually that is a filter. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put it back. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I like that as a filter. Okay. There's um, something got lost in the translation here because this was a parenthetical statement after what you said. Oh, did it? Oh, I'll just. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure how that got lost. Yeah. Just controls in your way through it. No, no, I'm just I'm accepting and then just remaking the edits. Okay. So, because so it's the this parenthetical statement belongs down in the point that you made. Oh, we lost the point that I made. Oh, I'm right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. That got. That, I don't know what. I don't know how that happened in the magic world of Google Doc editing. Yep, there we go. We're not following our change request review process. And Google no, Doc. I mean, that was a really weird, like, Google Doc-ism. Right. Right there. Like, I have no idea how that little sentence got lost. Oh, better? Yeah. Uh, I think we are at the end of meeting time. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're up. Yeah, we're actually over time. How did I do? How good management? Um, uh, this one came together. I think this one came together pretty nicely. Yeah, I think we should um, celebrate. Yeah. Uh, write your name in the contributors list and then. <laughs> well, I'm still, now I'm suggesting on the Google Doc, which appears to remember my.
so this so if we remember correctly and i know we have to go uh, we have a bunch of change request review metrics at least two or two or three change request review metrics so this is the first one that we were going to do i propose uh -huh. that we set this one aside for a moment and move on to the next one uh, and then we can come back and edit this one if we need to based on okay. so we can kind of so the next metric would be change request commits so move that to the top of the agenda yeah and then while we're writing change request commits we can adjust the language in this one if we need to uh, and then we can finalize all of them at the same time just to make sure that we're using the same language and that they're all connected appropriately it sounds good. i guess and i guess our next meeting is next year yeah i was gonna say december 14th we don't have meetings oh yeah, okay it's the next year so okay. we'll see you after a year so it'll be like uh january something something <laughs> um, uh, i'll stop my share here and see if i can quick come up are we are we restarting the first week of January or the second? Yeah, the 10th. 10th. That so, would be the 11th. So let's see if we have a, we don't, don't have a meeting the 11th, so it would be the 18th, I think. Oh, no. I have it on the 11th. Oh, it is, then maybe I do too. Yep, it is. On, you're correct. It is on the 11th. I'm always correct, Sean. I know. I, I should never have doubted you. I was... Right. All right. Nice John getting here early to the weekly meeting. Yeah. I should probably uh, stop this yeah. recording. And um, I'll just, since I'm logged in as chaos, I'll just stay here for the regular meeting. Okay. <laughs>